Hey, what's up guys? Houston here. Are you looking for money to for your startup or to help grow your business? Now, if you are, I'm going to show you some of the easiest places that you should be able to approach to get the funding. All right. Now, there's two reasons that most people that have bad credit don't even qualify for funding. And it's not because they don't have an active business. What it is, is that they don't have the right type of bank account and they don't have payroll in the business. That's right, those are your top two reasons because they can't show there's actual revenue or the revenue that's actually coming into the bank account. It may be because it's going into the wrong bank account or it's because that bank does not report their transactions to the business credit bureaus, okay? And this is one of the biggest challenges for most people not to get funding, even with bad credit. Now, I'm gonna show you some of the easiest ways to get funding for your startup or to help grow your business from these institutions. Now, here's a company here. If you have revenue in a business, that's not going to trip off of your, see that I worked at, that trip off? That's not going to trip off your personal credit, okay? And it's called New Co Capital. Okay. Now, there's four things that they want to have from you in order to help you get the funding you need. Now, they want at least one year in business, and they want you to have at least revenue of about $4,200 or equal to about $50,000 annually. Okay, $50,000 for the whole year. All right, now, in reference to credit score, 550 credit score, all right? But they don't put a hard inquiry on your credit score. Okay, so they're not gonna put a hard inquiry on your credit report, all right? They just wanna verify. And then, of course, a business bank account, all right? This is one of your easier lenders, all right? now. There's another lender out there called Fair Figure. Okay. Now, with them, again, they don't do a hard pull on your credit. The difference between these two, Fair Figure, they actually report all of your data to the business credit bureaus. So, and they give you a credit report. So, if you're familiar with now, so they do with Experian, Equifax. TransUnion, uh, Credit Safe, and they have they have this thing, okay? It's called a uh, Fundex score. All right, this is how you get the funding. All right, so this is how you get your funding. All right, so what it is, you'll sign up with them, and they'll uh, you register your business with them. They look at the data of your business, the revenue and stuff like that, to see what you actually qualify for. Now, the key thing is, they want your Fundex score to be at least 30 or higher, okay? To be at least 30 or higher. Now, the amount of money that they actually give is anywhere from $500 up to a half a million dollars, all right? Now, again, no credit check, all right? So this is one. Now, your next one is, many of you hear me talk about Giggle Finance, okay? Because it works. Now, please understand, like with Giggle Finance and stuff like that, these type of companies, they charge a high interest rate, all right? These type of companies are like merchant cash advance, all right? However, with no credit check, all right? They give you up to 5,000, all right? Now, the only thing that they require, it's a gig economy type of a uh, loan, okay? So if you're Uber, Lyft, driving a taxi, cab, truck, driver, or something like that, they actually give you this type of loan. Now, all they want you to do is show proof that you've been in the gig economy receiving revenue for at least 90 days, all right? And then minimum revenue, all you have to show is $1,500. How simple is that? 
Now, please understand with some of these lenders, they may not uh, participate in all 50 states as well. Okay, so just keep that in mind. But you definitely don't have to focus on the credit. This is all about revenue-based lending. Okay, this is what this is all about. Now, there's another one. Talk about Fundo. Okay, and I've talked about these other lenders in my other videos as well. All right, so they give you 10K. Now, here's the thing about it. It is a merchant cash advance. They're expecting to start offering lines of credit, but that hasn't happened as of yet. Now, with their merchant cash advance, 90 days in the gig economy, all right? 90 days in the gig economy, plus you have to have $1,500 monthly revenue. Very simple. So if you are a in the gig economy and doing your side hustle and stuff and you're looking for a quick loan and stuff that you can't go to your banks and get you a loan, then these are the places that you want to look. All right. Now, here's another one that you all need to know about. Sorry about that, guys. Um, allergies. All right. You have Divi. Now, Here's the interesting thing about Divi that people don't know. Divi used to offer like secured accounts that will help build up your business credit as well. They got rid of those, all right? Now, they just offer di direct uh, lines of credit or I would say charge accounts, all right? So with these charge accounts with Divi, they give you one week, two weeks, or a month to pay back, all right? So what they do, they use Plaid to look at the revenue, excuse me, not plain, but Plaid, to look at the revenue in your business and see what you qualify for. So say that you qualify for 25,000, all right? So you qualify for 25,000. So what they do, they give you an option. You can pay it back in one week, two weeks, or a month. Now, the longer you take to pay back uh, this money, the more on the interest they end up charging you, okay? So it's gonna be a higher cost, all right? And the interest rate is much, much higher. But the if you decide, hey, I'm just, and, and it's like a revolving account or a charge account because you use it, pay it off, use it, and pay it off. But the good thing about it, it does not report on your personal credit file. That's the good thing about it. And there's no hard pull. Now, they would look at your TransUnion FICO 9, all right? And many of you guys know I love FICO 9 scoring as well as Vantage scoring. And the reason for that is because you can do four things to help build up your FICO 9 much easier. So that means that you can add an authorized user, you can add utility bills, subscriptions, and you can add rent payments. That will build up your FICO 9. So the higher your FICO 9 is calculated, the more capital you're able to get, okay? Now, again, these lenders, they're all about the revenue in the business. So it's not about the credit, but at the same time, if you know that a lender is doing a soft pull on the FICO 9, you definitely want to pick it up. All right, get that score up. Now, here's another one. This is DreamSpring. Now, the only thing about DreamSpring, by the way, all right, is that they do TransUnion FICO 9 as well. All right. Now their loans is issued through Upstart. Okay. Now they have a line of credit. They offer loans and they offer lines of credit. I always tell people to go for the line of credit. Now the reason is you want to go for the line of credit because it's revolving. All right. Now this revolving line of credit, they give you up to 50,000. Okay. Now one of the things about it with this here, they do 
we want to make sure that your DTI, your debt to income ratio, is not over 50%, okay? So they wanna make sure it's not over 50%, all right? That's very important. Now, here's something else that I need to bring to your attention. If you have an LLC, if you have a uh, C Corp, something like that, you guys need to start looking out for FinCEN, okay? Now with FinCEN, that's the IRS police, all right? Now, I know you started seeing videos on it, but I'm going to actually put out a video to actually show you how to fill out this form. What it is, it's a business owner, um, it's like a business owner uh, thing. So basically, with this FinCEN thing, is you have to fill out this form that says who all owns a portion of the company. So if you own 100% of the company, then you have to put your information. If you and other people that are in business with you own a percentage of the company, you have to put down their information as well. So that means their date of birth, their social security number, all of these things you have to put down on that form. Now, for those of you that started your LLCs in 2023 or prior, okay, you have until 20. 25 of January 1 to get the form filled out. But again, I put out a video showing you how to fill the form out. Now, here's the thing about it. If you decide you're going to start your business this year in 2024, then you're going to have 90 days to fill this form out. All right. The form is very simple. Um, just basic information and stuff like that but they have to have this form, all right? Now, what happens if you don't? Many of you all know, they're gonna start penalizing you $500. And the thing about it, if you are a business owner struggling to uh, keep your business over, it's already challenging enough. So why would they even penalize you? That's the reason I don't understand it. You know, I understand they're trying to crack down on this money laundering and stuff like that. But for most small business owners, you know, many many of them just take the money that comes into the business and they put it directly in the pocket, all right? But you have to fill this form out, okay? There's no ifs, ands, and buts. Unless they change the rules right now, everybody that has an LLC, a S Corp, triple LP, uh, they have to. So DBAs, are not on the list because you're not a registered business, all right? Now, that does not say, oh, I'm gonna get away with it. No, because what ends up happening, if you're operating as a DBA and you're generating income of over $600, that's get reported to the IRS. So you still have to file taxes on that. So the thing about it, and I will tell you another reason as a DBA, you miss out on a lot of opportunities for us funding because you're operating as a DBA. Because you're not an actual registered business, it's very hard for lenders to decide if they want to extend credit to you, okay? So that way, when your business does come into a cash crunch, a lot of lenders, they're like, no, that's okay. They don't trust you, all right? So if you need help registering your business, click the link in the description. Schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.